<laughs> Alright, so we're over here at my boy Sean's Old Troy City Reptiles. Make sure you go check him out on Facebook. I'm sure you got a lot of awesome snakes for sale. But uh yeah, let's get into it and show us some snakes. Let's see, what do we got on the table? Alright, uh, this right here is a female, 100 percent a VPI Xanthic, 100 percent head clown. Awesome, uh, we're awesome. Gonna be pairing her up this coming season. Look at the colors yep. on that gray, man. The oh, yeah. whites. And then right here we have an actual Xanthic clown. Yeah, unfortunately he's in shed, so he doesn't really look that, you know. Exantic clown yeah, in shed. Yeah, clown in shed. You see his eyes, but he, I know what he's going to look like when he sheds. Oh, yeah, he's really, when he sheds, he's really, really gray. Oh. And this right here is a female lightning pied. She's super, super low white. She actually has no white on her. Um, and she's really, you see, she's a powerhouse snake. Yeah. Huh, I okay. love Xantic or Pod yep. Lightnings. Yep. Xantic Pods, all Xantics in the house. I can't wait to get some more of these in my collection. Yep. She's a. Uh, this girl's a powerhouse to me. And this is a. This is an awesome project. I can't wait to get. Uh, Xantic clowns. Yep. That's an awesome project. I can't oh, wait he, to get going. Uh, you know, I want some heads out of these. Oh, I, I mean, every, everything. Well, everything. Right here, this would be 100. percent Well, everything will be a Xantic. Um, he's a Xanthic clowns or a Xanthic 100% head clowns, but everything will be a Xanthic because they're both visual right, Xanthic. Yep. So what do we got on this tape? Alright, so this right here, first let's start with the parents. So this right here is the mother. This is a pied 100% head lavender albino. I bought, I bought these pairs right here from Garrick de Maya at uh, Royal Constrictor Designs. She's in shed, sorry guys, so I mean, they're all in that's shed. how it is. <laughs> now he's not in shed, but this is the father. Another pied, 100% head lavender albino. Um, we bred these two years ago, and we produced this guy right here. So oh, she so only hit yes, one visible. One visible out of the whole clutch. Goodness. Yes, and then we bred again this past season, and then we got her. So oh, nice. yeah, and she. If you look at them, compare them, like you can see how he, like he is way more high white towards the tail. You see? Yeah. And uh, his lavender colors are starting to come in. Yeah. And she is, like, she's, like, she still really has a dark oranges. Yeah. And she only has a very little bit of white towards the tail over here. Still pretty. Yep. Her lavenders are coming in, too, if you see on the head. Yeah. Yeah. They're beautiful. Yeah, but this was one. This is a nice is a, project. This is a project that took me a long time to get into because when I first purchased these right here, they were super expensive. Um, now I know the price came down on pied het lavenders, but when I got into them, I say this pro it was probably six years ago, because it took me like, took me maybe almost four years to raise her up. She was a picky eater at first. Pods are known. For yeah, that. and even this guy, this guy, every time he breathes, he he goes off for of food, and and that's with a lot of a lot of males, they go off for of food. Yep. But yeah. So, um, yeah, this is uh. And, and then we're gonna get them into uh dream sickles, baby. We're gonna get them into uh you know other other things. Um, you know, I absolutely wanna breed I wanna do a clown pied to uh I wanna do a clown pie to this guy right here. Dream sickle. This way I can get, you know, um there'll be pieds. They'll be, they'll, well there'll be pied and they'll be quad um they'll be het for um uh clown and lavender albino. Mm -hmm. so they'll all be pieds. I wanna start getting more of the you know, you know into the double and triple a lot well, i got a lot of double recesses but i want to get into like tr stop making triples mm -hmm. especially you know with the like this coming season you know with the sunset i want to get some you know you know breed a sunset to a generic stripe i think generic stripe sunsets will look cool oh yeah uh, yeah we're doing look at this this is a big pod <laughs> she's just a big girl look at her head come here get a little close you know that big yeah she's in shed unfortunately it's yeah this is a nice looking pod it's an actually proportion nice look yep i pull out a pie that's an ovulation once we're done putting these guys away 
I'll show you. Uh, I'll show. Uh, this way, I'm not sure the people that want to see they can see what ovulations look like. We have two snakes that are ovulating right now, and I'll just show you guys like you know what to look for when it comes to ovulation. Because sometimes I get a lot of people calling me that bought snakes off me that are breeding them now, and they don't know what to look for in ovulation. And I could. It's a nice pod right here. Nice, healthy, well taken care of. Look at this, man. I'm jealous. Look underneath of her head. Look how black the underneath of her neck is. That is crazy. Yeah, a lot of pies get that, uh, like be like beards under their neck. Yeah, you know, that's cool. Neck changing colors, yeah. That's cool. All right, soft out. Bongo clown. Yeah. All right, what we have here, this right here is something we produced um, last year. This is a female clown pie. And um, probably the best looking one that I've, I, I, I guess to say being biased, but probably the best looking one that I, uh, that I've seen in a while. And then um, right here, it's another one. Uh, come on, buddy, it's being shy. What's that one? This is a GHI uh, red G, I'm, G I'm sorry, GHI red stripe, orange ghost. Whoa, GHI red stripe? Yep, orange ghost. Orange ghost, look at that fire snake. Yep, he's just being really head shy right now. Tried to bite me a couple seconds yeah. ago. <laughs> and then this is another one we produced last season. This is a fire chocolate clown. It's a female. Fire chocolate. Yeah, oh, fire yeah. chocolate clown. That's She's really sick. I awesome love chocolate. Awesome stuff for us. See the light blushings in them dark. That's really yeah. sick. And um, then this right here is something uh, that I, uh, this is our first highway we produced, but this is a pastel spot nose highway. Oh man. Yeah. I like the highway stuff. Yeah. So what makes up the highway? is gravel yellow belly okay okay gravel yellow belly uh clown no gravel yellow belly this isn't a clown this is a uh, uh, yeah this I'm is sorry. a pasto uh spot nose gravel yellow belly oh okay okay i was sorry i thought there was clown in there no 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 i wish this was a clown <laughs> right right um i mean i could pull out some clown cop no no i just thought that was in that yeah. highway all right so uh this is the crown jewel i drove all the way up to massachusetts to go get uh, ivory produces I've heard it produces the best uh, yellow bellies around so yeah I couldn't really get it off them but you see him fanning out them 20s money talks money talks baby money talks all right I'll bring you guys along all right so uh, we just got done messing with a bunch of snakes my boy Sean hooked me up with a bunch uh, we'll do some videos in my house let you guys see what they are you guys give him a follow over Instagram old Troy City reptiles and, uh, yeah, you guys keep watching them. Hill Jack keep making them. Thanks. Hmm.